What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today we're going to be going over the PlayStation 4, PlayStation Store, deals and offers of the week for the EU side of things and we got the January sale already going, we got the PlayStation Plus exclusives as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into the January sale shall we and see what games are offered uh, to you awesome people uh, that we're going to be jealous for. Starting off, we got Star Wars Battlefront 2. Got the game. Haven't really played it much, to be honest with you guys. Shame on your monkey flop. I have played some of Assassin's Creed Origins. Pretty cool. FIFA 18 is a lot of people's favorites. I heard it's really, really good this year. But I'd love to hear your guys' comments in the comment section below. Uh, what do you guys think of it? If you guys have played it, if you guys haven't played it, then hey, you know, or are you looking forward to getting it? Need for Speed uh, Payback is also pretty cool. I haven't gotten this one yet, and I haven't even finished uh, the Need for Speed that came out prior to this one. Uh, Skyrim Special Edition is pretty cool. I like the VR edition. It's a lot of fun. It's like, whoa, you're, it's crazy. Yeah, we got the Christmas noobs right here on sale. Anybody playing those sweet, sweet Christmas noobs? Maybe you're playing it, uh, those Christmas noobs on Fortnite because a lot of people probably got PlayStation 4 for Christmas, and there's probably a lot of new players on there as well. The Evil Within, the price is not showing, so I'm curious. I'm going to click on it real quick and see what offer. Ooh, $19.99 for that. They get the demo version. If they have a demo version, you're on the fence of a game, I always recommend getting the demo version first. Wolfenstein 2, pretty cool. Mortal Kombat, yes. Rainbow Six Siege, still rocking, still going. I got Tekken 7. It's still wrapped in its uh, box. <laughs> if you guys see any games that stand out to you, definitely let me know in the comments section below. Any games that pop out at your faces. Oh, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Bloodborne, also on sale. For here and the U.S. side of things as well. We got Skyrim VR. Yes, this is the one I would definitely recommend. It is awesome. And, uh, y you know, if you had the Nintendo Switch, you'd be paying uh, 60 U.S. dollars for just uh, Skyrim by itself. So, I mean, for 20, 20 pounds and then also uh, 40 for the VR version, that's that's pretty cool in itself. Uh, just throwing that out there. Dragon Ball. Anyway, anybody a Dragon Ball Z fan out there? I'm curious. How are the games? Final Fantasy. There's a lot of Final Fantasy dudes and, and fans. Uh, Monsters of the Deep also on sale if you guys got VR. There's, uh, there's a handful of games I, I would recommend for the VR and uh, the other ones that I'm just like, you know what, I don't know if I'd spend money on that, honestly. Rocket League, still rocking hard and going strong. There's a whole esports <laughs> league around L Rocket League, which is actually pretty cool. There's a lot of people that still can be and play to this day. I platinumed Rocket League and I, I put it away. I sucked. <laughs> Anybody platinum it and use the rubber band trick? Okay, no, okay. I won't even go into it. We got Destiny on sale, and it's being advertised absolutely everywhere. And uh, <laughs> it's just advertised everywhere, bro. Everywhere. Firewatch. The game was pretty cool, but I heard the... I don't know. I, I don't know. I heard the game was pretty cool. I haven't played it yet. It's still on the backlog of games that I have. NBA Playgrounds. I don't see anybody really talking about that anymore. Ooh, we get the rival. Uh, anybody play PES 18? I'm curious. I want to know. Oh, we got WWE 2K18 in the house. In the his house. <laughs> <laughs> the Ezio collection. I saw somebody playing Assassin's Creed 2, and I'm like, yes, I love you. This is awesome. And anybody that plays Assassin's Creed 2, that, that was my first platinum. That was my first like rush of, oh, man, I want to complete everything. I want to do everything, and it was awesome. So uh, you bet your bottom dollar anytime I see somebody play it, I'm like, yes. Resident Evil 6, I liked it. Most people didn't. Everybody's favorite was Resident Evil 5 and below. 
<laughs> or a seven. Seven's also pretty cool, but uh, six is a hit or miss for people. Outlast, if you guys like jump scares. Unraveled, if you like a cool indie game. I don't know why some of the freaking, freaking prices don't show. $3.99 for that. That is awesome. If you guys like uh, little indie titles, I, you know. When this game got released, everybody was creating a little Unraveled doll. Do you guys remember that? That was so awesome. I, I, I love those days. Uh, Batman Arkham VR is awesome because you're in the Batman suit, but the gameplay is really, really short and kind of disappointing in that aspect. I wish there was a lot more to the game. And uh, for the price that I paid, I, I kind of felt gypped, to be completely honest with you guys. Street Fighter V. They're coming out with the arcade version in uh, Q1 for PlayStation 4. So throwing that out there in case you guys were on the fence of whether or not you were going to get Street Fighter V. They're doing the arcade version, uh, which might be a little bit cheaper than the original version. But it's on sale right now. So, I mean, it's it's up in the air. It's, it's really your call, bro. And if you do get it, let me know in the comments section below. We got some Maddens up in here. We got some Telltale. Everybody knows Telltale's easy platinum, easy peasy platinums. Alien Nation. I actually liked the game. It didn't do very well, but man, I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm gonna keep scrolling it, and like I said, if anything pops out at your faces, then definitely let me know in the comment section below. Transistor is a beautiful game it is gorgeous knack 2 is a great couch co-op game that price right there is uh, a price that i would buy it at uh the surge i really wouldn't i would probably skip on that but hell divers hello uh, the day of tentacles they said it was an easy platinum i started it got raged and i quit <laughs> I'm just, I'm just being all honest with you guys. There's so many deals in this freaking list. Oh my gosh, I saw Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, uh, that's another Telltale that I want to play. Yes, yes, yes. Please give it to me now. Farpoint, also on sale, uh, but I, I couldn't bring myself around to getting it. Knowledge is power, everyone. Hand of Fate passed. Bastion passed. Ooh, the Disney Afternoon Collection. Uh, anytime I see uh, DuckTales, I'm like, yes! <laughs> Red Dead Revolver, the original Red Dead Redemption, ladies and gentlemen. Next Machina was uh, highly rated for a lot of people. Um, so, you know, pretty surprised that not too many people are talking about that anymore. NBA 2K VR experience. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I might get dizzy on that one. Grow Home sucked. And <laughs> for me, at least. I, it was just, it was boring. It was very, very boring. I know when it got released, a lot of YouTubers got paid, uh, paid to promote the game that I, I, I would definitely pass if it were to release this day. And they'd be like, oh, you know, like, no, 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 no. Usually I, d I don't, you know, do any anything like that. Oh, Megaton Rainfall, hello, is on sale. I'm actually going to be doing a review of that. The developers were kind enough to send me a free code. And like I was saying, like, I usually just ask for the free code. I don't like to be... Um, Oh, Matterfall is also really, really good. I don't like to be uh, put in a spot to talk good about a game when I, I you know, want to give you guys my honest opinion. <laughs> um, in that game, I, I would definitely not, not, no, no, no. I would definitely pass. That would be like, uh, woo! <laughs> I'm being super honest with you guys right now. Uh, but man, there's so many games drawn to death. Uh, player base is dead. Everybody thought it was going to be a free to play game. And then it turns out, surprise, surprise, they're charging you money for it. And uh, a lot of people got upset and didn't even buy the game. We got the PlayStation Plus exclusive discounts. Oh, I saw Uncharted, my girls, The Lost Legacy. Woo, woo. Up in here. A lot of these games are actually repeating, so I'm going to scroll down uh, quickly. And if I just keep seeing games that are on repeat, then, ladies and gentlemen, that is that. Oh, Gang Beast is on sale, guys. 
Woo! Oh, okay, that's actually going to do it. Accounting Plus is also on sale, and that is an easy Platinum to get. I know you guys are interested in Platinums. If you guys want me to do more videos on Platinums, let me know in the comment section below. But ladies and gentlemen, that's actually going to do it for me and the deals of the week for the EU side of things. We get the January sale, PlayStation Plus exclusive discounts, and everything in between. Make sure to smash that like button. Comment down below. Even if it's like, what's up, monkey flop? Remember, comments do help out tremendously. So thank you. I see you. And I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure to smash that like button. And uh, if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button, bell notification. I'll see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.